The Philippines is a uniquely beautiful country. It is rich in natural resources and hosts a thriving, growing economy. We are situated in Asia, a region made up of the world's fastest growing economies. But Asia has also been one of the most disaster-prone regions in the world. This single disaster placed us at the top of the global ranking of human and economic impact of disasters. Disaster experts at the United Nations University have identified the Philippines as third only to Tonga and Vanuatu in terms of risk to disasters. Our large population, institutional weaknesses in coping, and long-term adaptive capacity, persistent poverty, income inequality, inadequate infrastructure, and environmental degradation make us extremely vulnerable to earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, tropical cyclones, and floods. In the last 100 years, however, tropical cyclones and floods have been the leading causes of major disasters. And in a globally warmer world, Changes in climate, such as unrelenting increases in temperature, long periods of drought, and more extreme weather events will further threaten vulnerable populations, cultures, and our ecosystems, which are sources of food, water, and energy. Global climate change will have tremendous local impact on the Philippines. Atmospheric scientists have noted that while the number of tropical cyclones making landfall has not changed, we have experienced more super typhoons and extreme rainfall events in the last 30 years than ever before in our history. Compounding these events is the rise of sea levels all over the country. And while our climate is changing, the Philippines is also changing. This is most evident in metropolitan Manila's peri-urban boundaries, which are expected to include 25 million people by 2015. National policy supports concentrating a large number of assets and infrastructure in low elevation coastal zones, where we also draw water for domestic and industrial use. When combined, the shape and length of our coasts land subsidence due to water extraction, tides, and sea level rise leave our cities exposed and vulnerable to floods and storm surges. Phenomenal economic growth and advances in science and technology have proven no match to rapid urbanization, environmental degradation, weak governance systems, and high income inequality. Being both income and shelter poor, many continue to live underserved in hazardous areas where each disaster only drives and increases their exposure and vulnerability. Have we learned from our history? Archival records show that we have been there before. Our pattern of development has generated and increased the cycle of risk and recreated patterns of exposure and vulnerability. As our environment changes, so should our society and our economy. And while we prepare for the century of hazards that we know 
and adapt to changes around us. We must transform the trajectory of risk and prepare for alternative futures. The private sector is uniquely positioned to drive this transformation. The Resilience Partnership will lead cross-sectoral dialogues to build a shared understanding of resilience in terms of preparedness, adaptation, and transformation. We will apply our core capabilities to address the current and future risks communities face and create a local yardstick for effective and sustained public-private, multi-stakeholder adaptation programs. Grounded by these local experiences and transdisciplinary mindsets, we aim to jointly identify new metrics and milestones for a disaster and climate resilient Philippines. Today, we begin a series of dialogues to chart the roadmap to innovative, creative, and collaborative partnerships for resilience. We thank you for your presence and your commitment and welcome you to our common future.